How are you doing guys? This is Eric from RuleTheWasteland.com, SecretOfTheInternet.com. This video is about one thing preppers, survivalists should not get, one piece of gear. And it's not this hat. This hat is pretty good. I, this is the Mission Endura Cool with Real Tree pattern that I got from the latest Battle Box. Digging it. Fits perfectly actually. And I'm wearing it because this video is mostly related to wilderness survival, or at least a piece of gear for wilderness survival. Not necessarily prepping per se. But that piece of equipment, and I don't even have one because most of the time they're complete garbage, is quote unquote survival knives with a hollow handle. There may be a few out there that are not terribly compromised structurally by having a hollow handle and you know not full tang, and they may actually be decent knives. I know Cold Steel makes one like that with a hollow knife or with a hollow handle, so that one's probably decent, but it's almost never going to be the case that they're better than a knife that does not have a hollow handle and does have a full tang. And it's just not worth it. I mean, it's a novelty thing. You're giving up so much structural integrity, so much reliability and durability in a knife like that just for a tiny little bit of space. The only exception that I would make for getting a knife with a hollow handle, and it isn't for the storage space, but the Cold Steel Bushman is actually one solid piece that has a conically shaped hollow handle and it's made for being insert, you know inserting a piece of wood into it and using it as a super duper spear. That's actually not a bad idea, but I don't think overall that, that necessarily makes that the best survival knife. And there's other, you can take a great survival knife, another cold steel SRK, which is a very widely used knife for survival. Nothing fancy about this knife, doesn't necessarily look cool, but is an excellent knife for outdoors survival type situations. Nice thick blade. And you could certainly strap this thing to a, a piece of wood and make a spear out of it as well. You don't need a hollow handle. And when you think about it, you're not giving up that much space. Anything that you would put into a survival kit that you would fit into the handle of a knife, you could easily fit into any other tiny little container and just carry it with a knife. In fact, most sheath knives like this Tops knife cub, which is also from Battle Box, and I really dig this knife. I've always liked top knives and somehow have not ended up with any because they're not cheap exactly. But this would be a great outdoors knife, and you, they have pouches on these many times for either the sharpening stone or something. You could easily fit the same size survival kit that you would put in the handle of a knife and of a survival knife into one of these pouches. But I just think that you shouldn't even restrict yourself like that. Just carry a mini survival kit. Put it on the lanyard and strap it to the um, the sheath, or carry it in a completely separate container. It doesn't have to be much bigger. So I mean, obviously, when you're talking about something being that small, so small that it would fit into the handle of a knife, you can put it anywhere. It doesn't have to be there. You can put it on a little necklace. You could just tape it to the handle for when you need it. You could do whatever. But you also won't be constrained by having to have it fit. Certainly, you could get something like this Becker BK9. This is one big hefty piece of steel right there. You can see the full tang, nice metal pommel if you need to bash someone's head in or break a window or do any sort of hammering some stakes and all sorts of stuff like that. This is a no frills, super rugged K-Bar Becker BK9. I love this knife. <clears throat> Big sheath, also has, it comes with this little extra knife in here, which is not bad for a backup survival situation. This is one piece of metal, solid construction, so it's not going to break either. But you could also put, there's actually two different pouches on here, if you can see that. There's one little pouch for the knife here, and then another big pouch here for either sharpening stone, or you could certainly put your little survival case in there. So that's what I recommend doing, either putting it on, just taping it to the sheath, a little survival kit, an Altoids tin type thing, carrying another complete survival kit. Because if you're honestly, and let's be honest, if you're going somewhere where you think there's even a slight chance that you might need a, a wilderness survival kit, you should be carrying a lot more gear than you would just fit in a little pouch on a sheath or in the, uh, the handle of a knife anyway. That's just my opinion anyways. It should at least be a you know pocket sized kit, something like that, and perhaps even like a full backpack of gear depending on what you're doing but I love this knife, definitely recommend checking it out. Links to the stuff here will be in the description. So let me know what you guys think, if you have any experience with the hollow handled survival knives. I tend to think that there's, 
it's a gimmick. You're not really getting any advantage over just getting a really solid, you know, super high quality knife like I have here, and then just carrying an additional little survival kit. If that's all you're gonna carry anyway, you're saving almost no space because it is so tiny anyway, and you're giving up a lot when it comes to the quality and usefulness of your knife. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.